I need to take hard risks, if I die, I die. The understanding of God's operations in time, with the free will He has assured to us, can give us a window of opportunity to be able to move without fear. Free will has been a great gift to humans from God, and it has also been the cause of much chaos. Therefore, it has even brought people to the level where they become indecisive. We become aware of this situation very early in our lives by ourselves. The steps that are supposed to advance us into greatness are the same steps that can take us into destruction, and dealing with this confusing process of life is something that many people have not been able to manage properly. In fact, when the Apostle Paul wrote about this matter, he said, For I do not understand my own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Romans chapter 7 verse 15. As people see this phenomenon working in them, it causes lots of thinking. Somehow the same things carry on and trouble people even when they come into Christ. The ability that God has given us to choose is a force that even enables us to choose Him to choose for us. To cut off the case of fear, each one of us should be able to take risks. Personally, I need to take hard risks, if I die, I die. For every single heartbeat demands us to make a life-changing choice, therefore, fear should be very far away from our hearts, because fear blocks our heart. People need to perceive correctly what happens in the real life above our minds in order to advance in this life with hearts free from fear. Death is not where the story ends, but the liar, Satan, has used it for many years to discourage people all over the world. Christ walked on the earth with the thought of life in his mind. Life was so implanted in him to the point that when they were threatening him with death, he paid no attention. The authorities representing the great kingdom of Rome wanted to kill Jesus, but for him, it was just a joke. Jesus, when looking at a kingdom that wanted to be seen as a strong lion, called it a fox, Luke chapter 13 verse 32. The knowledge of yesterday can be applied today so that we can advance in life without fear, for death is not the end of life, there is an even great life on the other side of death. Jesus Christ touched and proved it. Because Jesus proved that there is a great life after death, we should be looking at death with big laughs in our mouths. This attitude should be an energy that pushes us to conduct our lives at a high level of living, lives of abundance. Many people have been paralyzed by the idea that they could die if they make a bad decision, therefore, they refuse to decide either to go right or left. Being in a zone where we aren't making decisions is a very bad place to be because it doesn't please God. The amount of information that God keeps on pouring on us is to prepare us to make great choices at each heartbeat, for there is no pleasure in God to see His children being tossed back and forth by every wind of change. People have to deal completely with the ideas of life and death, death is not stronger than life, as many people think. The Apostle Paul wrote, O oh death, where is your victory? O oh death, where is your sting? 1 Corinthians 15:55. This scripture should encourage us to turn our eyes and look at life and forget everything about death, for death is a loser swallowed in victory. Knowing that life is more interesting, we need then to take more risks and live life. It is a risky business to be and stay alive. Therefore, people have to take the risk and live, no matter what may come on the way. We should be looking at and targeting the big and impossible stuff, we should be attacking the top of the highest mountain. The knowledge of life, the knowledge of abundant life, is the fuel designed by God to send us to the top. The top is not something found on earth, this expectation is to send us into the highest galaxies. What type of courage have astronauts, who have been sent to space, been using? Life is an adventure that we have to choose to embrace. Without that, there is no life. Not everyone we meet outside is living life, some people are being tossed by the winds of life, as they have put their minds on autopilot. We need to wake up and then make an intentional decision to stay awake. For us to stay awake, we have to implement different systems that we will constantly use to make sure that we are really awake. God, Time and Choices. This is taken from the book, God, Time and Choices. Get the book on Amazon now. Link in the description. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video like this.